Guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Where have I been? What have I been doing? Let's give you a cheeky update. We're at the gym, we're about to train shoulders. Dogs are with. There we go. All right, doggies. You good? You gonna go for a run? Come on then. Right, oh, they are following as well. We're at the Giant Slayer. It's empty. I usually find that I can train by myself still from time to time. Um, it is busier these days and it has been for the past few years. We've currently got 65 members. But the beauty of the gym is all those people train at different times. So you can find yourself here. And it is nice sometimes just to be in the peace and ambiance of your own company and smash it out. But then at other times, it's great to have the atmosphere and the, uh, the company of other people. I'm sure why I'm training today is going to be a few people arrive. That being said, I set the benchmark of this gym being privatised at 50 members originally. And since then, we've opened the doors to more members because we found that there is a nice balancing point of atmosphere versus quietness. And the ability to train in the gym and not have to wait for kit and not be around idiots because everyone's vetted out as well, that's a key point. Um, we have a lot of uh, content creators like people on Instagram, people who need to do some uh, stuff for YouTube and clothing companies train here as well because again, having that quiet environment and be able to film within the cost of their membership and no extra cost is very, very enticing. And then we also have people like um, females. People like females, that was a weird way to say it, wasn't it? But some females who, you know, may not feel as comfortable in a busy commercial gym, people staring at them and, you know, um, leaving heavy, heavy weights on machines. Plenty of reasons for the females to train here. So we have, we have a good number of females that enjoy training here because, again, it's not busy. They've got not, not a lot of people staring at them, giving them the, uh, the awkward eye, side eye. Um, so there's, there's loads of reasons. That being said, guys, if you do want to inquire about joining the Giant Slayer, hit me up in the comments, drop me an email, I will get back to you and we can discuss. If you are local to the Derby area, it's £50 a month, 24-hour access, you get a key card to enter, you can enter whenever you want. That's another glorious reason, aside from the reasons that I've just spoken about. So, there you go. I would say as well, the gym's always left tidy and nobody leaves their weights on, but who's done that? Who has left? A plate aside on that gym. Should we do a quick show around? From the, from the desk to the pet deck to all the glorious machines. That is the gym. They are Team Giant Dumbbells. That is, should we call that motivation from past times? And they are a part of the gym furniture. They can never leave. So anyway, what have I been up to? Be honest with you, I've been busy with the Super Aero Blueprint. I've got 10 dads at the minute. I am coaching through the mill. I'm giving them full access to me, to the lifestyle, to how to become a physical specimen of a man. But not only that, have that balance and have that sustainability with this lifestyle that incorporates family time, that incorporates meals off, that incorporates everything that you need to be able to have a happy, long life. Bodybuilding at the competitive level is not that. Bodybuilding at the competitive level is restriction. There is no balance. If you try and get balance, you're perhaps going to not get as many results as you need to compete with the guys that are giving it 110%. So with the Super Aero Blueprint, I was very, very passionate about being able to give men a plan where they could attain their goals, whether that be get a six pack, whether that be get stronger in the gym, but at the same time, nail being a dad, nail being a husband or a partner. Because over the years, I've made many, many mistakes and I've been that 110% bodybuilding, 100% career focused guy, and definitely left the focus off the kids, off Katie, the wife. 
Um, my mind's been absent. I've not been super present. But full circle, I've learned a lot of lessons. I've learned the rights and the wrongs. So now I feel very equipped to help other people progress, maximise their own progress, maximise their own potential and not feel like they can't do something, whether that be training and missing something out with the wife or the kids or doing something with the wife and the kids and missing out on the training. You can get both and I'm, I'm, I'm positive that by the end of this phase with these ten, the 10 weeks, the 10 guys, they're going to have some glorious results and they're going to have learnt a wealth of information. Um, it's not your typical monthly coaching thing, it's not where a client will check in with me and they'll get an email reply once a week or once a fortnight. This is a super in-depth programme that I'm laying out because it was very important to me that I elevated my level of coaching to these guys to help them as much as possible because that's where the value is. The value is in my help, the value is in my knowledge. So we have two lives a week at the minute, Wednesday and Sunday, just to make sure that we cover um, anything that's like in question, um, any, any topics that they want to deep dive into so they're getting maximal input and output from me. And then the, uh, the actual course, I'm going to call it a course because it's broken down into weekly modules. Um, and just to give you a little bit of an insight so far, week one was establishing um, a routine and basically building out habits that are going to lead to long-term growth, long-term success. That was week one. Week two was a deep dive into nutrition, into macros, into all kinds of topics. And there's, like that, there's probably 10 topics and videos from me recording about um, these individual topics in depth. So you're learning along the way. Um, week three was about training, about intensity, about explaining tempo, explaining forming, explaining intensity. As I said, from a coaching standpoint, normally you'd get me perhaps type in an email or send you a quick voice note. This is me showing people how to do it. How I've acquired my physique over the last 20 years is in this blueprint in the 10 weeks. So people are going to make some phenomenal results. And week four coming up is mental resilience. That's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to involve a few cheeky challenges from me. Anyway, seven minutes in. That was the longest intro ever, but I have been away from the game for a little bit and I wanted to give you a bit of an update. I've been keeping myself in decent shape. I have been focusing on things like the Superior Blueprint um, and I have been lacking a real goal and focus myself. At the minute, I'm quite happy maintaining 280 pounds, maintaining a, a tight waistline with abs on show and performing in the gym okay. I enjoy going out on the bike. I went to the velodrome last week and tried out track cycling, that was good, but I've done one part of a four part accreditation, so I've got to do more, more uh, things there. But since I've set back from competitive bodybuilding, I've really lacked that super level drive, that super level focus, because I haven't had anything competitive wise to really focus on. Apart from competing with like 50, 60 year old cyclists out on the road um, and, and like giving it a hell yeah when I beat him to a checkpoint or leaving Katie in my dust. <laughs> There's not really been anything that I've had the chance to get my teeth into physically. Um, I am a competitive man. I thrive on the competitive aspect of sports and other things. That being said, I'm not a sore loser. I take losing very well. I'm, I'm, I'm a confident loser. <laughs> but I love to compete. I love to compete. I love to push myself. So what can we find? And please like, put in the comments now things I can do that's going to allow me to compete, that's going to compete with my brain and personality and activity level. What's going to push me to do something I've not done before. At the minute, I'm focusing on the bike because the bike's low impact on the joints. What I have to consider as well is, obviously I filmed Gladiators in June, that's gonna air soon. I don't think I'm allowed to say exactly when, but it's gonna air soon. Um, no spoilers. For that show, I obviously need to be a certain size, a certain shape, a certain stature. So I can't do anything endurance based. So I, I'm not gonna be doing like long 100K plus rides. I'm thinking sprints. And one of the things I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna do two tests on the Watt bike. I'm gonna do the six second max output test, and then there's a 30 second 
test as well. I don't know what that is. It's to do with sprinting metrics. And I think that's something I want to try and um, ex not excel at, but test the waters with and see where I'm at in terms of performance and ability. So if you've got any challenges regarding the Watt bike or any challenges regarding track cycling or anything that you think I can get my teeth into that you think I would not necessarily be good at, but would be willing to give a go. Nothing too dangerous, nothing with crazy amount of heights. <laughs> um, but you know what I'm trying to say. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Give me some ideas. Right now I'm going to hit doubts and then I'm going to record the two challenges on the Watt bike and I will let you rip me to bits in the comments about how poor my form is or how I could have done this better or how that was terrible. Anyway, big love. Apologies, it's been a while. I am really sorry, but I have been focusing on business, family, friends, and people that matter. Um, and that's about it. You matter. That's why I'm back. Love you, leave you. See you on the other side. All right, guys. We are doing the Watt Bike. Six second max sprint test or max output test. I just noticed my battery is low. I'm going to try and record this um, quick. Quick disclaimer, I have not been training legs, I've just been going out on the bike. And um, these Jordan 1s, <laughs> I don't think are the best footwear for this. I'm going to go to get the cleats on here, but um, I've not got the right tools for the job today. So anyway, let's do a six second test. load up this watt bike. It says my target is 2,084 watts, which is a hell of a target. Let's just get into it before the battery goes. <coughs> oh, yes. the countdown's done, so when I start, that'll be it, is it, I think? Right. The feet's definitely in a weird position, he's, uh, in these cases, it doesn't feel like I've got any like contact with the pedal itself. Right, here we go. Come on. Let's do it again. Let's go. Yeah. Pets, what are you doing? <coughs> oh. Yo, yo, guys, right, I'm back home. It's a bit later in the day, to be fair. Um, I've, I've chilled out, had a shower, I'm all fresh, got some moisturizer on, got soft face. <laughs> um, and I've recovered from this Watt bike testing. Um, so I did three tests. Disclaimer battery run out after the 30 second test. You can see the results there, but I'm going to go through these in a second. And then I did a 30 second test, which was disgusting to be fair. And then a three minutes test, which was equally disgusting. And I'll go through why. Um, I reckon I'm gonna have to do these again because it was very apparent on the first one that um, the old style clips where you just pull and it, it tightens the, it's like a muzzle. It's like a muzzle around your foot. The muzzle around your foot, it just, it's probably the fact that I had Jordan 1s on as well, didn't probably help, but when I was pushing down on the pedal, and I don't know why I've not noticed this before, it's probably because I've not done a maximum test, but when I was pushing down the pedal, the pedal was like almost, if that's the ball of my foot there, the pedal was like at the back, in, in the middle of my foot, so I was like pushing down with the soft part of my foot, so I had no power transfer through the trainer. Um, well, I still scored 17, and I just think it's like a reasonable score, but for the um, for the, the cyclist um, professionals out there, they're probably saying, well, if a manual size 1700 is rubbish. So anyway, let's an analyze these results. What the plan is from now is to look at these results and then develop a four week training program that a track cyclist sprinter would essentially do and improve these numbers and try and break into the 2000 watt club. That's the plan. We're gonna hit four weeks, by the end of November, I'm going to repeat this test at the end of November, and I'm going to post the results, and I'm going to show you what I get. But, first things first, I've got to get these 
um, sorted out. These, these are my Shimano, what are they, um, RC3s, wide fit um, cycling shoes. I'm going to put those on now. These as well, they're not the best. Um, I'm obviously new to cycling. I'm, I, there's so much money you can spend on cycling, by the way. If you're a cyclist, you know. If you're not a cyclist, then you need a deep wallet. <laughs> because... These are like lower end, but if you go for a higher end shoe, you're looking at 400 quid, 500 quid. Um, if you're looking at like a new helmet, you can be paying two, three, four, 500 quid for one of those. The, the list goes on with the amount of kit that's out there for a bike. It's like buying a car, honestly. Like my, my bike's a Cannondale Topstone 1, which is relatively cheap in terms of what is out there. Um, some of the bikes are just insane. Anyway. That's the plan. Let's review these results and then I can box this off, get it uploaded and have your feedback and comments, please. And if there is any help with training, any kind of programs that you want to point me towards, because I'm just going to build my own, uh, then feel free to enter as much information as you want in the comments. Like I say, I'm no expert at this, but um, I know when I put my mind to something, I can do good things. So the, the aim is here to make some good improvements. And 300 watts... I think is a lot in terms of the difference because I've, I've heard cyclists speak about gaining an extra 30 watts before and that being a big thing. So 300 watts must be, like I say, it's completely new to me, so it means absolutely naff all. But 300 watts to me probably means a lot less in terms of how big that goal actually might be. So let me know in the comments as well. Is this something that is achievable in four weeks, do you think? Am I mad? Let's go. Um, so yeah, this was the... This was the 30 second one. This was actually probably the, um, the, was it the worst of the three? It was probably the worst of the three, yeah, because this was like a balls out power for 30 seconds. And when I was like 10 seconds in, it felt like I was 30 seconds in. When I was 15 seconds in, it felt like I was a minute in. When I was 20 seconds in, I could feel my heart rate was, it felt like it was 200 beats a minute. I didn't connect my heart rate one up to this one and this one because I just put it on and I thought it would connect automatically, but it didn't. But I have got the heart rate readings for the last one. Um, six second power output. So my peak power was 17.23, which is interesting to be fair because on this one, I selected the fan at 10 and the magnet at 7. On this one, I selected the fan on 7 and the magnet at 5. So you can see from those i thought the i need to read you know again if put in the comments please if there's like an optimal setting on the fan and the magnet based on my body weight my body weight's 130 kilos i think that that does affect where you want to set it up um let me know because like i said on this one it was 10 and 7 like max on both um that i think i can definitely get higher than that especially with how I felt my feet was coming off the pedals. It just didn't feel good. And then um, this one, again, might be an optimal setting to put on there. Maybe seven and five wasn't optimal. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Um, it felt decent in terms of the, the tempo that it was going around at. I mean, 150 cadence ain't too bad. <laughs> that's, how, that's how fast I was pedaling. Um, but obviously, if it was on a, a lower power, then or lower fan setting and magnet setting, that came to be even bloody higher. And then this was the, no, that one wasn't, that was one I did and thought, I, I didn't even do it. I kind of um, couldn't get my feet right and tighten them back up. So that is the full test there for the 30 seconds. And then this is the three minute. This was horrendous, like I said. For the first, I tried to set a power that I thought I could maintain. So initially, Obviously, it went up to 700 straight over. But then initially, I set, set down at 500 watts. And I thought, I could keep it above 500 watts for three minutes. Well, one minute in, I was like, oh, my God, okay, this is going to be a challenge. Well, I made it to two minutes at 500 plus. Didn't drop below 500 until I went into two minutes. And then after two minutes, I lowered the magnet set into probably like three. And then it felt like I was having a rest, to be fair. The wattage dropped to 300. And then... After about 10 seconds at 300, I maintained 400 and higher for the rest of it. And then last 10 to 15 seconds burst, I managed to get that back up to 500. So the last minute was a bit flaky, but the first two minutes were a solid 
500 plus. Um, and that felt pretty good. I, th- th- that, that was a mix between obviously power and fitness. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to improve your score based on flat out power there. That is definitely a fitness thing. And it's a mental thing as well. How long can you keep your head in the game and not panic about oxygen deprivation? <laughs> so that's it. That's a bit of a different video to something I've done before. And I'm going to do the content that's going to be different off the back of this as well. Take you along for the ride. Hopefully it's going to be interesting. You can ask questions and please feed me information as we go because I need it. I want it. I will welcome it. And um, I think we can all probably learn something as well. And see me get punished. And next time when I do this test, I'll film all three and apologize for the battery running out. Anyway, comment below. Peace out for now. Thank you very much for being patient. I am back. I'll see you soon.